what's up and good morning guys welcome back to another video so i'm out here today getting the day started on a little river this river leads into the lake that i like fishing the most out here yeah basically i'm going to be following the river all the way down to the lake it's going to be fun today there's a nice bird flying it's, it's a beautiful morning it's supposed to warm up to like 60 degrees got a bunch of different rods with me got my swim baits along with some flipping stuff and then also got some other moving baits and even some top water so we're gonna see what we can get today stay tuned guys and I hope you enjoy today's video Just got to my first spot. I'm starting off the day throwing a frog. I just got that early morning. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I got a fish finder. I haven't updated you guys on that yet. I'm gonna do a full video on how I installed it and stuff. But look at look at this. Look at this morning. It's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get to fishing. Let's see if we can get some guys. If I don't catch any up here, down here at the lake, I'm probably gonna you know start fishing my way back up the river. So I'm about to get to frogging. Let's see if we can get some fish, guys. Stay tuned, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Alright guys, there's something crazy going on. I'm seeing so many freaking fish on the fish finder right now, but I can't get them to bite. But I'm guessing that it's probably like crappie or uh, or white bass or white perch or something like that. So I'm tying on one of these little crappie jigs. I'm just gonna jig it off the bottom and see if there's anything down there that wants to eat it. This is getting crazy. I'm throwing everything I have at them. I'm throwing Texas rigs, shaky head, uh, spinner baits, crank baits, jerk baits, and it's like a lot of fish, like a lot. Like yo, look at all that. And like that's not even like as much as I saw earlier. Are you kidding me? Tell me if I'm tripping. Tell me if I'm, I don't know. Let me know if what that could be. Like, look. Look at all that. It mu it, it must be crappie or, or white bass. I'm pretty sure it's not like structure or like logs or anything. There's a lot of logs and stuff in the water, but that, that's that got to be fish. Like, those are fish. I know what fish look like on a, on a graph, and that's got to be fish. I'm going to go insane. So I want to be able to know what those are. I want to catch them, but they won't bite. And then there's fish jumping everywhere. Like you might not be able to see it. There, oh, there's one right there. I don't know what's jumping. I'm guessing it's like bait fish or crappie or white bass or something. And then there's carp up in like the flooded cover up in the grass and stuff. And like, they're going crazy. They're like splashing. And there's a lot of them. A lot of carp are up here. Guys, look at this. You see that? It's all carp. There goes one right there. All that splashes of this carp getting stuck up in the grass up here. That is crazy. Haven't caught a bass yet. It's been it's 10, 18 now, and I've been out here since like 7.30. Does not feel like I've been out here for almost two hours. I guess I started fishing at like eight, so about two hours, and I haven't even gotten a bite yet. I was trying so hard to get just a little one of these fish that's on the graph, but nope. Like, look. That, I know. I know that right there, that's like a log or structure or something. All this stuff around it, that's that's fish, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm tripping. I want to know. I'm new to fish finders, and I want to know if I'm tripping or not. So let me know in the comments, because I'm going to go crazy. If I keep seeing that stuff and I'm not gonna be able to catch them, I'm gonna go insane. Cause that, it looks like fish. Look at all of that guys. I know I keep going on and on about it, but look. There's no way that I'm tripping right now. Like that's gotta be fish. I guess I could be tripping cause it won't bite. I don't know guys, wish me luck. <laughs> Man. There we go. 
Finally, first fish of the day. Not big, but we worked hard for him. Oh my God, I can't believe how freaking long this took. A little tiny bass in the spinnerbait. Decided to start covering as much water as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and get a release on him. There he goes. Yeah, it's 12.30 right now. I've been out here since like eight. I've been fishing since eight. And uh, that guy ate the spinnerbait off this little tree right here. Oh my God, it's been so long. But I was talking to some guy that was fishing a little bit further down. He was saying that he thinks that they're going through the uh, second wave of, of the spawn. So there's the first fish that come up and start spawning and then there's like a second wave and probably a couple more. So he thinks we're kind of in between that and oh, it's been hard, but hopefully I can get onto a pattern. It was off one of these deeper banks. I'm gonna keep chucking that spinner bait and it was just around this, this some lay downs and we're just gonna keep doing that. So stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Go, another one. That's a better one. There we go. Yes, sir. Popped out in the net. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Came up and smoked the spinner bait. All right, we're on to it. Covering water, spinner bait up by the bank. Another nice fish. Feisty little one too. He came up and slammed it near the put so much slack in my line I had to reel down and set the hook into a spinner bait. Normally it's just like you're reeling and then it's like it's there. But nice little fish on the spinner bait. Oh, a lot calmer release than I thought he was gonna do. Alright, sick. We're on to kind of a pattern. Let's see if we can get some more. size but we'll definitely take them because we're recording for this one yep recording for this one there it goes they've, they've been very calm with their releases normally when i let fish go they either do like a little tiny swim or they like freak out all four of those bass i just caught have just been like okay bye he was like nipping at it too it took me a second to realize that i thought i was going through some some uh some wood and i was like i think that's a fish and i set the hook and he was there so I'm definitely gonna keep this on for a little while. I'm gonna keep fishing. Stay tuned and let's see if we can get some more. Oh, there he is. Nice one on the spinner bait. He came up, missed it, and he came back and grabbed it. Oh yeah, that's a really good one. No, 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 don't come off. Oh yes. That was so sick, guys. <laughs> oh my God, it's so fat. It is so fat. Look at that fish. <laughs> Just a straight pig on the spinner bait. She came up and missed it. And she was hooked on the outside. Look at that fish, so fat, ow. Nice fish on the spinner bait. She was right, right by that little, uh, little piece of cover right there, and I saw her come up and wake on it. I was like, oh, and like I didn't feel her, and then she came and, and she grabbed it. Definitely a better size. It's been like an hour probably since I caught those last few. 
making my way back to the ramp and she was there. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Right there on the spinner bait. Nice. I'm actually gonna get some pictures of her real quick for Instagram purposes. All right, got a few pictures. Let's get a release on her. Oh, there we go. That's the release I was looking for. Pretty decent day on the water. I started off a little bit rough. I didn't get onto a pattern until you know later on in the day. Uh, the only thing I was really doing was covering a ton of water with the spinner bait. Um, that river is absolutely covered in cover, tons of logs and structure and stuff. And it's kind of hard to pick out which ones to fish. And where I really like to target, especially in rivers, are on the deeper, steeper banks. One way that you can tell is on river bends when the river comes down and it swings and it starts to go, you know, a different direction. Uh, typically in that little bend in that corner, that's where the deepest water is going to be all that dirt and mud and stuff just gets pushed out from the water and it just creates a deep hole right there that's where i was targeting the most and you know just shade structure wherever just looked the best and those fish were there just hiding up in the structure it was a bright sunny day muddy water so Typically when that happens, a lot of times the fish will like to stick close to cover, whether that be rocks, wood, um, really anything. So I could have thrown a few different baits, but I think the spinner bait was really one of the best baits to throw, especially around that, all that wood and stuff. You know, it's one of my favorite things to throw around wood. And then uh, other than that, uh, to everyone who watches my videos because I throw big swim baits, don't think I stopped throwing big swim baits. I'm definitely gonna keep throwing them. Uh, in the future videos just wanted to kind of wanted a day where i could catch more than one bass basically i know that I, I can make that happen with the big swim bait but it's definitely a little bit more rare but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to leave a like if you want to see more make sure to subscribe and share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it uh, once again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace